This is James, the comic book Shifu, and welcome to Read More Comics. This week's episode of Pulls and Pickups, I am going to share uh, my pulls from my local comic book store. Uh, store. I'm sorry, it's been a really long day, so I'm going to try to make this quick. Uh, I also picked up uh, some books that they had been processing through a large collection that they picked up uh, oh, a few months back. And then I also have a few eBay wins. Uh, to give you some idea of how busy the day has been, I haven't even been able to process my books. I haven't put them in CLZ yet. I have not even bagged and boarded them, though I did take off the original bags for the pickups I got at my LCS, the back issues. So we are going to start then with my pulls and then kind of progress from there. This is Batman Beyond Neo Gothic issue number three. Uh, this is the cardstock B cover, I believe. Yes, it's the B cover. Um, I prefer, I think I've said this before, I prefer uh, the DC Comic B covers. I know at this point we're paying a little bit more for a better cover, but I think there's two things going on. One, the cardstock just presents so much well, it holds up really well. But second, and um, I think this is something that needs to be acknowledged, uh, on their B covers, they are throwing amazing artists onto them. You know, uh, I'm not sure who did this one right here, uh, but it stands out to me. Um, I have not even, I'm gonna admit it, have not even started reading Neo Gothic. I read the uh, first uh, installment, uh, Batman Beyond. I think it was gothic, neo-gothic. I don't remember. Anyway, it's one right before this. Uh, and what hooked me on that was, I read in the previews or read on um, CBR or somewhere like that, that this would be the first Batman Beyond in continuity story following the death of Bruce Wayne. And I don't think it really caught a lot of uh, attention uh, that it was in... Oh, it was one of the anthology series, um, Batman. I'll have to try to dig it out of my uh, out of my collection. But uh, in the anthology series, they introduced the death of Batman, and so the Batman Beyond succeeding that the series was after the death of Bruce Wayne, and so Terry McGinnis, the original Batman Beyond, uh, was dealing with that loss on top of some other, you know, futuristic Gotham City shenanigans. Um, I enjoyed the read. Uh, made me want to begin kind of collecting other Batman Beyond series, but, you know, it's one of those things, as I find them in the wild, I'll pick them up. It's not something where I'm feeling a lot of pressure getting them. Uh, I think most of it's dollar bin fare, except for a few exceptions, like the first appearance of Terry McGinnis in continuity, things like that. So, Batman Beyond. Neo-Gothic issue number three. Uh, we have Ultimate Invasion number four. This is the variant with Kang on it. Haven't read any of Ultimate Invasion yet. Uh, I am planning on picking up uh, Ultimate Spider-Man uh, when it begins um, sometime down the road. I don't know. Uh, I'm, I'm intrigued by it. And I think the creative team is going to do it justice. Uh, we have Mandalorian Chapter 12. This is the variant edition uh, with the child stealing cookies. Uh, that's why I got this one. Uh, I tried to get some of the other variants which stick out to me as being memorable from the series. Uh, if you've seen The Mandalorian, uh, this is definitely a book you might consider getting. Uh, it's been a fun read so far. So Mandalorian number 12, or Chapter 12. Here we have Penguin, issue number two. This is the variant cover. Uh, I don't recognize the artist's name. Uh, looking forward to this. Uh, I think Tom King shines when it's uh, a maxi series or mini series, so I'm really hopeful with this uh, that he kind of shines through. Uh, this is Marjorie Liu, Son of Takedo on Monstrous, issue number 48. This is amazing world building. Uh, if you enjoy kind of um, steampunk, if you enjoy fantasy, uh, I definitely recommend this. Uh, and, and I cannot say this enough, Sonic Takeda on the art is stellar. This is the A cover. 
um, and the art. Let's just give you a look on the inside. The art. There you go. It's on point. Uh, she is an amazing art artist. Uh, the colors are a little darker. There are times when the, the text bubbles are a little bit challenging to read, especially someone who is optically um, challenged, such as myself. But uh, definitely recommend Monsters. Uh, um, it, it is perhaps the most unique fantasy series that I have read in comic book form. Uh, and I would be challenged to think of something in novel or in other media. Uh, perhaps Skyrim is close. Um, so anyway, Monsters. Definitely recommend it. Uh, I would get it in trade. I mean, it's issue 48. You probably could find it in dollar bins uh, because it's one of those things where it has a dedicated readership. But it's not like Saga, not like Walking Dead. Issue number one is a key... And I, but I think you can get it for like 50 bucks on eBay, something like that. Uh, if this ever became, if the IP was ever picked up to make into other media, might become more difficult to get, but I kind of doubt it. I, I don't know how, um, how anybody could make it into a movie. It, the, it's a very complex world that's been created. I think the, the, it's analogous to uh, Game of Thrones or House of the Dragon. So a series would probably be the way to go. And without the, the built-in audience, I think it would be a difficult sell. Anyway, here we go. Titans Comics, Conan the Barbarian, issue number three. This is the variant cover. I've been going for the vintage covers because I just love the old Conan, the Marvel box up there. Uh, this is a wonderful homage to Volume 1 of Marvel's Conan, uh, if you are a fan of the Barbarian. Titan Comics will not let you down with this. Uh, this is one of those books where I read it month to month, where some of the other ones, like Monstrous, I'm about five or six issues behind because I want to read a whole arc. This one I've been reading month to month. It's right at the top of my read pile, so highly recommend that. And then we have a Gotham War tie-in. This is the Red Hood tie-in. I went with variant cover, issue number one. Um, I think I'm a couple issues behind on this. I have a Batman issue. I have a Cat Catwoman issue. And then this. Uh, it's been a fun read so far as, as an event goes. Or more of a crossover, I suppose. Uh, definitely worth your time if you enjoy Batman and Catwoman. Um, not a big fan of Red Hood. I'm not nothing against them, you know. Uh, you can see over there I have the uh, Kotobukiyo statue for New 52 of Red Hood, but it's just a little different. Anyway, so let's. Oh yeah, I got a couple of these. We got the Marvels previews. We got the DC previews, which I really appreciate that my LCS hands these out to people who've pulled the boxes because. Uh, it's kind of difficult sometimes to find all the places now that you need to go to to uh, see what at least the big two are coming out with in previews worlds uh, since Diamond has lost distribution for not just DC and Marvel, but a lot of the independents. Uh, I don't think they're pushing um, comics as well as they used to. You know, for example, um, ITW... Uh, some of the image books end up in a separate location instead of image at the top. Uh, some of the other smaller uh, companies, which used to have its own space, now they really don't. IDW is an example of that. Um, it is what it is. All right, so here are the back issues I pulled. First one, this is Star Wars Tales of the Dark Jedi. Oh, Tales of the Jedi, Dark Lords of the Sith. Issue number one, first appearance of Exar Kun. Uh, he's a really cool Sith Lord. If you're into the non-canonical universe, what is it? Star Wars Legacy. Uh, and then if you've been keeping up with Ahsoka, you know where things are going, right? There's a lot of stuff out there on YouTube. You can check it out. Uh, I'll try to keep it spoiler free, but uh, I got Heirs of the Empire issue number two. Uh, and it's a nice clean copy. Uh, this should be the second appearance of Thrawn, which is very affordable for Spirits of Thrawn. Not so much. It's kind of out of my budget. And it's not that I'm specking. These are books that I want as a part of my PC. Uh, I was able to collect um, 
Canaan, the last Padawan, in between kind of peaks when there was kind of a low before Ahsoka came out. Uh, was happy that I was able to get all issues of that uh, maxi series as a part of my personal collection because Star Wars Rebels was on point for me. Uh, I thought it was a fitting uh, successor to Clone Wars, uh, and David Floney did not disappoint with that. Uh, and then with Ahsoka, I think it's some of the best Star Wars we've had. Um, it's up there. It's I Rogue One is the best movie, best sequel movie since DC, in my opinion, uh, has produced. And I think Ahsoka is probably on point with that. Um, anyway, got issue number three. Again, really clean copy. Uh, didn't have issue number four. Issue number five. And then last but not least, we have issue number six. So I'll be looking for issue number four in the wild, probably on eBay or some other uh, secondary um, secondary market source. Macari is also pretty good for that. Uh, and I'll be looking for it in a reasonable price for a near mint copy because it's issue number four. It's not issue number one, which I know is going for a lot right now. Uh, and then my eBay haul, uh, this, these are bag and board because I got them a couple of days ago. Okay, we got Battle of the Cowl, issue number one. This is the first appearance of Damian Wayne as, Bat, uh, at, as Robin. Okay, and Damian Wayne is my favorite Robin. So I'm looking up for keys or minor keys just to add to the PC. So I didn't realize these were connecting covers. So we got issue number one, issue number two. Excuse me. Issue number three. All right. Um, last but not least, uh, in October, I am challenging myself with 30 days of Halloween covers. I'll be doing that as a YouTube short. Uh, and what my criteria is for Halloween cover, I am looking for homage covers to horror movie posters. Number one. Uh, anything that says Halloween in the cover. Number two. And then last, but probably just as important as the other three, anything that makes an allusion to the celebration of Halloween, trick-or-treating, etc. That's number three. All right. So thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed what you heard, please like, share, and subscribe. And thank you for watching this episode of Read More Comics.